Thomas in each full shot. In 1983, India stunned the cricketing world when they lifted the World Cup at Lords, defeating West Indies in a thriller. 1983 to 2023, 40 years. Where is India today? The Indian cricket team is ranked number one in the ODI, and the Indian cricket team would be playing with the Australian team for a place as the number one team in the world for the Test cricket team. Now, how did this happen? This was primarily, of course, due to the encouragement provided by the BCCI, the talent, and the most important thing, the fitness regimes of the players. And there was one single man, ladies and gentlemen, who gave a revolution to the Indian cricket team with his fitness regime, with his physiotherapy uh, classes, uh, with, his, uh, with his very strict regime as far as fitness was concerned. He was none other than Dr. Ali Irani. Dr. Saab, a very hearty welcome to Bhopal and to my show, Cook Speaks. Absolute privilege to have you amongst us, Dr. Saab. You know, when we watched you on TV, and when the player's injury was injured, you had a bag, you had a track suit, and you had to go to your support staff. You know, it's so great to have you there, Dr. Saab. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. I'm in Bhopal. Thank you for the cook shop. I would like to thank One Rehab 24-7 for organizing this meet and talk. Hope uh, they cover up uh, India soon. As you know, the era has gone into home services. Everybody wants to have physiotherapy at home. Yeah. And uh, as you said, in 83, when we won the World Cup, the, we didn't have a physiotherapist exactly. with the team. That's the time that our team realized there should be a physiotherapist. And yes, uh, I was the first physiotherapist to join any sports team in India. And it started with cricket. But today we have almost any sports you name has a physiotherapist attached to them. And uh, thanks, uh, maybe uh, cricket gave us an opportunity. And when I uh, was a student, there were only seven colleges of physiotherapy <laughs> in India. <laughs> and uh, today... Which year, which year doctor? I uh, joined in 1978. My God. MS University, Baroda, there were seven colleges. My today God. we are more than 300 physiotherapy My colleges God. in the country. And from treating physiotherapy initially in the ward, having a small clinic. I never uh, thought that suddenly home services or home physiotherapy will go so big. Yeah. And I'm so happy for that one rehab that they thought of it for a smaller place like uh, Bhopal. We have bigger institutes. I'm attached to Max Home. Then there is Portia, there is Angel. There are many organizations who are giving these home services. But coming to Bhopal and knowing that uh, One Rehab is almost there and wants to grow all over the country, my all the best to them, wishes to them. And again, once again, thanks for organizing this talk. We will talk a about, lot about home services whenever I am questioned on it. Coming back to cricket, yes, uh, it be very, we have gone a long way. Because when I joined as a physiotherapist with the team, uh, there was a certain rule which I told them we have to warm up before every game and then the cooling down process started. Many of them had weak muscles at the shoulder or the quadriceps running. So the timing uh, of running between the wicket uh, made it was faster by our training. And uh, every time a player uh, decided to hit a six, it was outside, behind, beyond the ropes or in the audience. Okay. That is what was required to strengthen the muscle. Okay. So we worked on the endurance so they don't get tired. In test matches earlier, one day was not there. So to have a century was easy because it was a six days game with yeah. a one day rest. Yeah. So, but when the one day came, you really you have to have that endurance to finish that century and not get tired, not get uh, dehydrated. Yeah. So all that we had to keep in picture. 
you also also worked on the nutrition what is the best food that can take them longer whether earlier it was nothing they never knew about what to eat before the game so everything was put into the program what is required and i hope i hope the new ones that come uh, believe me they came they come almost uh, fit yeah so a little fine tuning has to be done whereas earlier when a player came in i have seen a player coming in because the criteria was how many wickets you have taken how many runs you have done yeah yeah so there was no criteria to test their fitness but now almost all of them come in fit so earlier they were good bowler or good uh, batsman but we have to work on the fitness then maybe they were overweight maybe their muscle strength was not enough so we had to work on that and thank god now almost the training program the academic works on the fitness so by the time they come on the indian side or club side they are almost yeah, fit yeah. i'm uh, with you yeah yeah i i w- i'll just give you a headline dr sir which came in the papers maybe about a couple of days back that the indian world cup uh, preparations hamstrung by injury headaches and wherein the three players like shreyash ayer didn't bat in the last test uh, against the australians because of a back problem we have uh, jaspreet bumrah out out of the reckoning so far we have another one player i'm forgetting the name and they have been all referred to nca that is the national cricket academy at bangalore bangalore uh, ki bhai kya ho raha what is this happening and why you know the, they made a rotation policy So what is this? I mean, what do you, what are your comments that someone like Shreyas Iyer declaring himself fit and then not batting when India needed his batting in the in the in the fourth or the final day? So what are your comments on that? These these low fitness levels or are the player fooling the selectors by saying, "Bhai, ham to fit hai," though they are not? Is something like this? Um, I would like to say my personal view. Yeah, your personal, absolutely. And I am not uh, giving my personal view for Indian cricketers. I am giving my personal view to all the sportsmen. Ji. including us those who are not sportsmen but uh, living a tough life of running around so i feel the no- law of nature says we need one day complete rest okay so maybe our uh, team is playing round the year okay so that one day rest that the team has either they are flying they are going to the next city they are flying here and there or they may be dinners and lunches arranged for them so i feel uh, all sportsmen uh, my request is if they can take one day complete rest, rest. Okay. when i say rest it means having breakfast lunch and dinner <laughs> on your bed <laughs> right not going and playing in your building not playing gully cricket rest or gully total game rest. total rest yeah. not going for socializing yeah, yeah. most of them are doing shooting so they get that one day break exactly. they shoot for the advertisement so one this is one of the reason that will the body will regenerate body will rest well and you are prepared again for the next day okay. this is one of the reason okay uh, someone like kapil dev dr sir as you rightly pinpointed without elaborating much on that issue the social life of these cricketers you know you have the ipl and i for because i have attended one dinner they have a ball till 6 o'clock in the morning i mean without taking any criticism they are doing uh, you know great service for the uh, the nation don't you feel that this has to be put a small full stop somewhere or the other this this particular as you said you know rest means rest breakfast lunch and dinner on your bed so i'll put it like that ki every sportsman wants to last long yeah you have taken so much of pain 5 years of training 10 years of training and come on the indian side yeah so you are pride of the nation yeah so it's on themselves to see when they should be going to sleep yeah again the new law of sleep says increase your sleep exactly it's exactly. it's not only for sportsmen it's for all of us okay, okay. so everybody is trying if they were sleeping for 6 hours make it 7 hours okay. if you are sleeping for 7 hours make it 8 hours okay. so increase of sleep is better for health okay and the next uh, i would like to say okay, what would be disturbing them uh, the other thing that comes in the way today of a sportsman no on even a normal human being are the mobile phones okay the radiation of the mobile phone so they have not get i mean i've got a meter which shows Okay, when a call comes, how much of radiation it is there? Okay, okay. And why if why don't you elaborate on that, sir? Because uh, so many people are using mobiles like any. Why only players? You know, someone like us, we are using mobile like anything. You know. So yeah. What is this radiation, sir? Thoda samjhao na iske baare. Because it's high Wi-Fi. If okay. you have to catch a Wi-Fi, if the Wi-Fi there are meters available which will show the radiation coming okay, in. Okay, okay. Even charging a phone. Yeah. You can't charge a phone in the same room. Okay. You should be minimum two to three meters away from the charging. Okay. but we uh, put our phone next to our bed to charge so exactly, they will call exactly. come and we sleep off yes so i feel the charging should be in the next room so there will be a sleep better okay uh, again uh, the wifi 
So if you want to destroy today anybody, increase the Wi-Fi. <laughs> so I feel our opponent dressing room should have more Wi-Fi <laughs> than uh, then our, our uh, and our room should not have. <laughs> That's yeah. a good one, Dr. Sir. Okay, now coming, Dr. Sir, uh, to you were there from 1987 to 1997 as the physiotherapist for the Indian cricket team. Uh, tell us, I, I'll, of course, I'll, I'll start with the upper body, Dr. Sir. You know, the frozen shoulder, the back and the knee, there are three main things which I like to discuss. The pre preventions, what we can take, you know, for the sports people, which is a message for the sports people. Sir, tell us something about uh, the injury of Sachin Tendulkar versus Vakar Yunus in Pakistan in his debut series. A yeah. lot many people keen to know about it. Um, I'll go as far as injuries are concerned. Injuries are part of sports. You would not so like to elaborate on No, the I would not like to name yeah. any sportsman no, no, or any no, injury. Ka, jo kuch laga tha, no, uske baad... no, I would let us be talking about okay. injuries in general. Okay. Uh, injuries are going to be part and parcel of sports. Okay. So we cannot avoid injuries. But when it happens, we can prevent whatever injuries we can. Okay. But there are accidents out of it. Okay. A ball hitting somebody oh, yeah. on somebody's face, a ball coming on the helmet. Yeah. Uh, there are many incidents that's happened. That's okay. why all the guards are given to you. I'll just give an example. The helmet that they wear and the visor yeah. should have a distance that the ball should not penetrate. Okay. Okay. And that is supposed to be checked by a physiotherapist okay. before the batsman goes in. Okay. But if it is down and the ball suppose is missed, it will enter and hit the eye or the head. Okay. I think it hit Sachin Savan on the nose. Nose, yeah. Okay. I'm saying because there was no visor. Okay. okay. <laughs> that was the reason. Okay, okay. So we had Manoj Prabhakar and Mohali, yeah. which had hit the, uh, which had hit directly, and uh, really the bleeding was ba again, massive. yeah. But this, he had a visor, okay. but he had rem he had uh, adjusted the visor below. So, so when the batsman is batting, the the visor rod comes in between. Okay. okay. So you, they put it down to see it clearer. Better sighting. Better but putting it down will allow the boy ball to enter. Okay. okay. Then there are shin guard. We have got yeah, pads. Yeah. So all these guards are supposed for prevention. Okay. So if you don't obey that law, you okay. get injured. And there are other suppose you are saying about hamstring, hamstring pull. All that is because you must have not warmed up well, okay. or you stretch your body more than the. Uh, required, required level okay. by the body or preparation of the body. Okay. So you can pull a muscle. These are the injuries that you can twist an ankle. Okay. Fastballer okay. can twist an ankle. Like like three specific injuries. Like for the sports person, doctor, uh, they, they will be really honored to have you know a word from you. Uh, one is the frozen shoulder, which is very common with the youngsters nowadays. Maybe tennis or maybe hockey, even uh, hockey, even golf. No, no. What do you say or even cricket? Frozen shoulder is not an injury. Yeah. Post injury, okay. I'll tell you eight out of ten uh, diabetic patients in India have frozen shoulder, okay, okay. but they are not injured. Okay, okay. <laughs> right? So they get frozen shoulder because of the high sugar. Okay. So there are micro fractures at the periosteum level that is inflamed, and inflame causes pain when you cannot move two days, three days. So it becomes frozen. Okay. So frozen shoulder is not an injury by itself. It's a, it's a post injury. Yeah. Now, anything that is painful when you don't do the joint gets frozen. Okay. okay. Right? So it's, that's why I call frozen shoulder. Okay. So uh, injuries for a, even a fielder fielding at the boundary line when he's throwing, if the throw technique is not right or he throws it hurriedly or okay. not properly, not prepared, yeah. can get injured. There are a lot of ligaments in the shoulder. Okay. So when you can pull one of the ligaments, so that could be the injury. Okay. And sometimes you tear, you go to an extreme and you tear one of the ligaments. Okay. So that's an injury which uh, nowadays through arthroscopy they can rectify it. Rectify it. So I would not say frozen shoulder is the problem. Okay. Right? It's post any injury. Okay. Could be high sugar, Pretty could be painful. high. Pretty painful. Right. Coming to the back leg again, good stretching, good strengthening. Nowadays the players do a lot of core exercises. Okay. Okay. So the core muscle exercises help them to prevent. So I, in very short, uh, my idea of joining the team was not giving ultrasound or diathermy to the patient. Natural sort of a my idea was prevention is better than cure. Okay. You know, you are in sports. Part of sports is injury. So what all I can... I can, uh, you know, avoid that injury. Okay. So train them. I know all the injuries were like, like you are saying, back problem, shoulder problem, knee problem. So let us talk about how we'll prevent them. Yeah. Exactly. So prepare these joints, strengthen the muscle, stretch them well. So uh, almost ninety percent you have avoided the injury. Okay. We'll come, doctor. We'll come. Like frozen, you said something. You know, it's already injury uh, caused more, more, more over to the diabetic patients. You know. Uh, there's a one-liner with you. you. You believe a lot in prevention. From womb to tomb. Yes. That is your line. 
Yes. What what exactly? Can you elaborate on that? That's a beautiful line. You know, I just uh, want to ask you, what exactly do you mean by from womb to tomb? So we had a problem in India. Everybody asking, what is physiotherapy? <laughs> right. So I had to define it like that. When the when the child is in the womb of the mother, yeah. the mother requires prenatal exercises. Okay. So we okay. prepare the mother also not to get injured while delivering. So prepare the muscles. So therefore, comes so from womb. Womb. Okay. Prenatal. So we have not seen the child, but we are preparing the mother. Hmm. So we have a role there, okay. womb. And tomb means still you are alive. Okay. So okay. as you grow, when the, when the child is delivered, the mother requires postnatal exercise okay. to okay. prepare the muscles again if she wants to live a healthy life or get pregnant again. Okay. So okay. we have to prepare that muscle. And there are a lot to do with the pelvic muscles or the okay. pelvic floor muscles. Uh, and then as the child grows, if the child is normal, fine. If it's again, nowadays we have a lot of autism, cerebral palsy. Again, we have a role to play. Child goes to school, you will be surprised more than 12% of the primary school children have scoliosis. That is their spine not straight. What is that known as, sir? Scoliosis. Okay, okay, okay. Because the way they carry the bag or how they sit in the class. So if they are sitting on the left side, they have to you know go to the right side. If they are sitting on the right side, they have to go like that to see the board properly. Okay, okay. So sitting all day. So now I tell most of the schools to change them every week. Every Monday when they come, those who are sitting on the right should live on the them. left. Okay. Those who are on the left should go on the right. So to erect, or there are exercises to have the right posture. Okay. And uh, I think so. I'll tell you one of the shocking things what our country is going through is vital capacity. Our lungs can take four and a half liter of air. Okay. And all Indians have less than two liters. My God. Our females have less than one point five liters. My God. My God. And all the patients who have died in COVID or Corona, they had it below one point five liters. We never had patient who was having vital capacity, four liters dying. So marathon runners, those who are doing pranayam, they were the survivors. Yeah, exactly. But uh, the question is, air is free. Yeah. Breathing is free. But after the air is so polluted? Fine. At only 18%, 20% is oxygen out of it. Okay. So uh, you'll be surprised. I feel if the government puts a tax on breathing, <laughs> you are breathing in Bhopal, uh, you have to pay 500 rupees a month. Yeah. We are Indians. Yeah. Finally, then we will... Breathe more. Paisa vasul karega. 500 rupees dere. So, we are not taxed for breathing. Whereas, that is the most important. And why we breathe? Yeah, to live. Basically, to have a good... 20%, 20.73% of the air is oxygen. Rest is nitrogen. Yeah, yeah. So, that 20% air, if it is good and fresh, 20% yeah. air is when you breathe. And why we breathe? The impure blood after... Uh, blood going all over the body yeah. to arteries, vein, coming back to the base of the lung. Yeah. So when you breathe, the air hits. So the oxygen is taken by the impure blood. It becomes pure, goes to the heart. Heart sends it again to the body. Yeah. So if you're not, so there's a difference between a four liter lung and a one and a half liter lung. So that's so why we so need to breathe. Business, doctor, something I think I didn't know and the yeah. viewers wouldn't be knowing. You know, four and a half liters and we are inhaling only about two liters or one and a half liters. One that's and a half. massive difference. So Massive we, difference. So we have to increase our vital capacity. Yeah, yeah. Increase the container of your body air. Yeah, yeah. It's going to make it's going to be general health. Give a lot great, of difference. That's, that's a lovely, very informative in fact, Doctor. Now we we discussed about the frozen, you discussed about uh, the shoulder, Doctor. Another major problem with these sports people nowadays is the knee. Ninety percent of the body weight comes on the knee joint. Yeah, yeah. And knee has only one role to play. It bends and straightens. Yeah. There is no other role of yeah. the knee. The yeah. shoulder has got multiple movement. Elbow has got multiple yeah. movement. Yeah. But knee has only one movement. Flex the knee and straighten Straight. it. Yeah, exactly. So I feel and the only muscle that is taking care of the knee is the quadricep muscle. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we should strengthen it. Mm. Strengthen the muscle. Do a good warming up. Sportsmen sometimes when they don't warm up and straight go and play or do some event mm. is a problem. Okay. So okay. we should strengthen the thing and do good warm up before you, you feel for strengthening of these muscles for those people who have made a name in the sports arena for themselves, they should consult a physiotherapist or we can have the home exercises. As we said, you'll, you'll elaborate a little bit about the home services available for physiotherapy. Uh, see, earlier the machines that were available in physiotherapy were too large, too big, difficult to carry at yeah, home. Yeah. But with technology and um, there are so many uh, equipments which is on your mobile smartphones. Yeah, 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 yeah. So nowadays, most of them prefer people coming home. Okay. So most of the physiotherapists go and the home care has increased all over the country and thanks, you have one year also. Yeah. Uh, so one rehab would be definitely making a lot of inputs going through the homes of even the sportsmen. Yeah. So many sportsmen I have seen in Mumbai, they prefer their 
physiotherapist to go home and treat them. Okay. One, they are at home, they are relaxed. Both One, are yeah. when they try to go out, the star sportsmen, when they go out, a lot of crowd, again, people want. They waste a lot of time giving autograph, photographs, you know, and then maybe the services are not. So they want to, they, everybody has their own physio. Yeah, yeah. So they call them home and they are more relaxed and at least they are doing the other works when they are getting treated. But it's something, Dr. Sir, like the knee problem or the shoulder problem or the back problem we discussed. You know, a little bit of problem, one should See, concern. See, knee, knee, I will divide. Yeah, okay. When it's in sports, yeah. it is not degenerative changes. Okay. You are young, so you must have injured one of the, men, uh, usually meniscus okay. or the anterior crochet, posterior, uh, posterior crochet ligament or the collateral ligament. Okay. You have stretched it, overstretched it or strained it. Okay. Once it's sprained, you can go for physiotherapy and treat. Okay. But once you are 45 plus yeah. and you are talking about knee pain, it could be early osteoarthritis. Okay. It could be osteoarthritis. Okay. Okay. It's rubbing of the two bones together. Yeah. Like a hair goes wide, it's degenerative changes. Exactly. So similar thing it happens in our joint. Okay. And knee being taking 90% of the body weight. Usually, I tell them about any knee pain. If it looks that they are overweight, I ask them to knock down 5 kg. Yeah, okay. They feel much better and strengthen the quadriceps. Okay. Dr. Sahib, you have not answered my personal equation uh, question. Mera answer nahi kiya. Ek to answer kar Your favorite cricketer as far as fitness was concerned. Your favorite cricketer. I feel uh, when I started going into it, I felt, uh, I still say that Kapil Paji was the <laughs> fittest. A man who never missed any test because of injury. Because uh, I have seen him when we, when we had our camp in Delhi, 1987 World Cup camp. So he was staying quite close to the national stadium. Okay. So he used to come early morning before us. My he used to train with the hockey team. My God. And My continue God. training with us. So that so is the spirit. Double, yes. And... Uh, Still today, I see him. He's playing quite golf fit. now. Golf. Yeah, 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 but he's fit. So, uh, Dr. Saab, thank you so much. And thank it's been you. absolutely a pleasure talking to you, Dr. Saab, and hope to have you again. And you ha I hope you have a lovely seminar. Thank you so much. Thank Jay. you. In UK, more than I would say 18 in Australia, more than 50 in New Zealand, of course, up to Maldives, all over Nanu. And of course, in Mumbai, all the hospitals have Nanavati physiotherapists there. Whether you call it Kokila Bain, Nilavati, go to Bombay Hospital, just stop, reach Kendi. There will be a Nanavati, ex Nanavati working there. So we are all proud and it's all happened because of the references. As you all know, most of the patient has to be referred and we have to deliver. That's how physiotherapy has become 24 7. I'm again thankful to all the doctors who are here. I can't name all of you. Without you all, it would end up impossible.